all through his persuasion. Me and my wife are delighted. We will be having authentic, I think, Bengali Absolutely, lunch sir. <laughs> with Tathakar ji and his enormously talented wife. We look forward to that. Hmm. Well, I'm in very sound company and Tathakar ji has more experience. I've been noticing for a long time, for over two years, that there was complete disregard of rules of business framed under Article 166.3 of the Constitution. The issue was flagged at my end on several occasions. Already 21 cabinet decision that sought to convene assembly at 2 a.m. on 7th March, I found that there were transgressions. I directed summoning of the assembly on 7th March at 2 a.m. But at that point of time, I indicated to the chief secretary that there must be scrupulous adherence to the rules of business. And if there be such a situation that I notice transgressions, consequences will emanate. A cabinet decision was sent to me yesterday where they seek to summon the assembly on 7th March at 2 p.m. While bestowing my earnest attention to the cabinet decision, I found similar transgressions of rules of business. The Chief Secretary has been called upon to put in writing his response. As and when his response will come, the matter will be addressed by me in the tree, true spirit and essence of the Constitution. My purpose is to make Constitution work in sublimity. My purpose is that the government falls in constitutional group. I hope same voice is heeded. Sir, 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 sir. Two questions. You, you express your concern uh, boldly the way the rule was conducted. You summoned the election for the What is the bottom? One. Hmm? Your vote may go. This is the upper up. This is the answer to the answer to the answer. I, I would urge you, eyes of the government, no one knows more than the media that the constitutional duty of the chief minister under Article 167 to make available information of the governor that has not been performed now for over two years. It is with deep pain inside. I am constrained to reflect. Media should be asking questions to itself now. Media should be probing its conscience.